We have to have a vision. We have to ask ourselves, preparing which doctor of the future? Who is the doctor that effectively meets the health needs of modern society? And here are the competencies we thought are the most important one. Professionalism has to be a real good doctor. Communication skill has to talk with patients. Collaboration has to collaborate with colleagues. Management, today I, I know by myself that managing is very important. Health advocacy, scholarship. And which are the materials and methods that we have in order to cope with this vision and with this aim. Tools of teaching and tools of assessment. And if we go back to the competencies, probably we all know that here we are pretty good mainly in professionalism and in teaching and assessment professionalism. But I have to say that probably all these other skills are less uh, thought. And in fact, we need new tools and new topics to teach not only the professional skills, but also the so-called soft skills. New tools, new tools of teaching and assessing the competencies the future doctor is supposed to learn. What we need to teach, strategies able to refine students' professionalism. We want to have very good doctor, but also to promote other important skills we are less used to teach and assess practical skills, problem solving, ethical awareness. Do we assess for this? For sure not. These new tools are supposed to be useful in order to support the process of teaching, learning and assessment. For example, simulator-centered teaching and assessment. These are key points for the new uh, future of uh, medical school. And of course, in this context, what, we, what I reassume as I'm not an expert, but the expert is here, e-learning, e-teaching, e-assessment system are strongly required. Thank you.